Lord, thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to participate in your holiness. Lord, I ask that you bless this time, Lord, to be fruitful. Mm. Bless my sister. May your spirit be mighty strong. <laughs> and then your your will be done for sure, but let your we find the freedom in our fellowship, Lord. In yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. So mm. I'm now even struggling a little bit more mm. getting this out because of what you just said. You'll do fine. But I'm just gonna be yeah. honest. Yeah. But I think that my inner man <laughs> was way more destroyed than I thought. Was we more what? Distorted. Distorted, okay. okay. Mm. And I think because of how in insignificant I think that I am, mm. the Lord is meeting me in a different place mm. because I'm so far on the other side mm. of him. He, it's just been like the last maybe like two or three weeks. Mm. It's just been he brought he's brought me to a different realm. I don't know any other way to say it. Yes, I, I, feel. I think I understand it. Sure. I'm not I'm not here all the way. Mm. Mm. And it's like outside of time mm -hmm. in a beautiful way. I mean yeah. I'm not sad. No. I'm just so overwhelmed. Mm. My nights aren't night, my day, my days aren't days. It's mm. just it's wonderful, mm, but it's very different. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, mm. it feels so presumptuous. No. It's been going God so near, so real. <laughs> you become so dear and important to Him. <laughs> but and it's all real stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> he brought me to His throne. Mm. And I bowed, mm. <laughs> and he lifted my face. And I was uh, trying to understand, like, <laughs> I 
not wanting to be presumptuous in any way, what he's trying to show me. Sure. The library was my words. <laughs> they just they can't. Mm. I can't. I don't have it. Sure. It's like a safe, secret place for now. Yeah. But. And I don't want to share this with everybody because there's no part of me that wants any kind of accolade. Mm. <laughs> but because of how he spoke to my heart, mm. I've always wanted so badly mm. to to be the person mm. who could say, mm. here I am. Mm. Anything. I, I, I didn't understand his love enough mm. to truly think that I was going to be taken care of. Mm. Mm. Oh, forgiveness. Forgiveness. And he, mm. he, dri- <laughs> he demolished it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And so I did. I made a new commitment. <laughs> <laughs> and before him, yeah. that, I, that I want to be one of the few. Mm. Good Jesus. And I'm just overwhelmed, even with the fact that <laughs> he trusts me and loves me enough. Mm. You're for what he's shown me. You're chosen. You know, I didn't want to say. Thank you. And, uh, but I never believed it. You are indeed chosen. Yeah. Um, he put that in you. Yeah. He let you struggle. So you can come to the end of yourself. And let him tell you who really, who you are in him. In him. And it's just a mighty thing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's not a concept. It's Thank real. You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And since that time, mm-hmm. nothing, nothing here has been the same in yeah. such a good way. <laughs> yeah. And one of the cries of my heart always has been like I want the joy mm. of the Lord mm. to be my strength yeah. <laughs> the joy yeah. not the the duty or yeah. and I always thought Lord <laughs> I don't even know what joy means <laughs> because I have no idea how to be happy <laughs> with um, yeah. <laughs> I have not had an easy life I don't know how to be happy there, That's for you know. Sure. Yeah. And even until we got here, mm. I mean, it's been it's been forty five years mm. since I can remember mm. that I knew things to be true, but I never mm. ever could see. See how that passes. I do have a joy that's not coming out right because this is how it comes out and I'm I still too just dis- understand the you. thank you thank you thank Lord this is a gift Jesus. you weeping crying you may feel bad I'm sorry no no it's a gift I tell you it's a blessing you should not did I early did I tell the gift of tears I hate gift it so weeping. much I hate it no way. I feel out of control no way. and I don't like being I, out of control I, 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 I am uh, I was like you, totally a wreck. I got the help. Talk to people, I was just weeping, crying, don't make any sense. So, um, and when they uh, found a stranger, Inayak, by the way. <laughs> and this gentle lady come around. I just don't know what's going on with me. It's wet and cannot, like you right now, kind of barely have a word out. And she's put out with me. And then he, he went to the other, uh, 
like you would do, prosecutively apologize. Sorry, I can't. I can't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and she's just like kind of looking at me. She was an angel. I mean, she looked like so. She was a older lady. Yeah, so, <clears throat> like now speaking our age, that's twenty years ago. So, <clears throat> and um, she looked at me with pure eyes. You know? One of the purest person I met, purest soul I ever met, and she she's barely she barely know me. I never met her. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think she was an angel, maybe, because I never saw her before. I never saw her after. Wow. And uh, after you encounter angels, no more human beings. They showed up in a very insane time. Mm. It's uncanny, and they disappeared. Mm. I don't know. I don't see lights or people sleep with wings. Am I? I see real people. Real like you standing before me. But when I look around, it disappeared. And they have the purest. Spirit. Huh? Mm-hmm. Anyway, she gave me a hug and comforted me. And don't worry about it. I feel like a mom's hugging. You know? That's so, so comforting. Then she put her hand on my shoulder, looked straight in my eyes. Not not intense, it's a, a loving, tender uh, walk. Right? You know, you should not apologize for crying. Then she said, well, uh, maybe she's not the angel, but I'm not the angel. <laughs> she said, you know, I had the same experience. When I was young, I was kind of weeping when God touched my life. I was a mess. And, and I was said, God, I don't want to cry like you. I lost myself, you know. That's, I don't feel out of control. And, and the Lord told her, your tears, your weeping is a gift. Called the gift of tears. Uh, I look at her. I know she's be in business, you know, she obviously. And uh, such burdens send, suddenly fell on my shoulder. Oh, there's nothing wrong about me crying. <laughs> That's a gift. That's a move of the spirit. And then days I can't help cry all the time, That's and for no am. reason. I'm not, <laughs> That was a cleansing, repentance, cleansing. Yeah. Something like turn upside down in us, you know, turn inside out. So, so wow, did I miss on that? Yeah, wow, God's so good, <laughs> make a way for me to change. Wow, he's everywhere. He, he's not that person with me when I'm stuck. And uh, <laughs> uh, it was, uh, yeah. I don't know what you're going through. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly it. <laughs> and it's like a it's, whole bunch of like it's so that too. Yeah, <laughs> it, like it being washed, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 We all we think this is a process. We have to get to work it out, have some consultation, some conclusion, some journaling, know exactly what's going on. We have no idea. It's totally messy. It's 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 pretty much you, your rational mind, your your old regime of thinking through things, making sense of things. He just like being flooded over. Have I, you know, like, have you seen the river? From a certain time, mm-hmm. they have a back, you know, yep. so suddenly a flood comes, just run it all over as if they don't know what? Where's my back? Where's my horse? You know, so mm-hmm. it's everywhere. And you know, it's good, however. Mm-hmm. The flood is not a destructive flood, <laughs> even if break everything <laughs> But it's a blessing flood. Mm. And you suddenly recognize, wow, I have lived a, such a small life. <laughs> Confined life. <laughs> I think I got a pretty good going. The power of the Spirit, the love of God, just inundated everything. <laughs> you can't use the word of flood for that. Mm. And mm-hmm. I hope that 
No, yeah. That's what's going on with it you. It is, so, for sure. Yeah, so, and then you should not apologize. Yeah. Awesome. Amen. <laughs> so, I mean, sometimes I'm just sort of like, oh, I don't, I don't, it's more with the perception that I think of other people, like my family, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. and, and they're, I don't want them to think I'm not okay. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and sure. I'm okay in some time, yeah. you know, there are times, sure. it's just when I'm by myself that's and they exactly hear me the, in my room that's wailing. A, that's a good burden we had in this. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, I'm okay. Yeah, I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's kind of like, what yeah, is yeah. going on? Yeah. You just tell God is doing something in me. God is Oh, he working. can see it. Yeah, He's okay, like, you're sure. different. Like uh, something so different in such yeah. a beautiful way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, quite grasp yeah. it, but I mean, it's not, he's not scared. It's yeah. just, I don't know. So God tenderizes us. Yeah, for sure. Heart is so tender. Yeah. We used to, yeah, good, but I've tried the whole thing together. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, mm, it you as a, a heart of flesh. Mm-hmm. So tender. Mm-hmm. We look at the whole thing together, you know. Uh, is that linking? Is that broken? You know? So mm-hmm. oh God help me to fix that. You, know? yeah. so mm-hmm. you give a new heart. Mm-hmm. As a new heart. Mm-hmm. It's like a new engine, you know. Everything received differently, processed differently, expressed differently. It's even interesting in the things mm. that I see that uh-huh. he's showing me. Yeah. You know, and I and I don't I don't know. Like it's sort of challenged. Like was I seeing things from the wrong realm, or was mm. I just seeing a fraction of something? Give you me know? some hints, maybe. <sighs> like in my family, mm. I'll just that's the closest to home, mm. and where I can speak into it. But, um. If Hattie walks in the room, mm. I could see something on her always, mm. you know, and I would be like, oh man, mm. like, how do I help her with that? You know, like, it's like a, mm. I don't know how to describe it. A presence. It's yeah. a presence, mm-hmm. and, but I can, I can sense it and mm. I can usually see, um, even what it is, but not necessarily where it came from. It came from when she was young. Well. He opens, he's opened that up to me now, oh, yeah, but, yeah. but I mean, that's what I was trying to show you. It's like, mm-hmm. I used to see that and now I see who, I see her through his eyes in a, such a different, such a different way. Yeah. And then it's separated mm-hmm. her completely. And I've known these things. These are mm-hmm. not. Th- this is not new knowledge mm-hmm. to me, yeah. but a new knowledge that has been opened up. Mm-hmm. Opportunities mm-hmm. for me to speak yeah. his life into her. Yeah. And I've never known what to say. Everything but I've said has always felt religious. It's coming now. It is. That's what I'm trying to say. I see. He's yeah. opened it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm speaking. And I literally am watching her get free. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, from things she doesn't even see. Yeah. But I see it. And I see it. And it's like that every every conversation. Uh, it's uh, never in and out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why it's, it's, it's a hard place to live because it feels... Like, I don't know, I'm just a different mom. Yes. And it's hard for me to, like, we let go stop. of mm. this fleshly way mm. of nurturing mm. that I've always attached to mm. my purpose. Mm. <laughs> and there's beauty in that, too, even. Mm. Because I'm so limited in the flesh mm. that I've never, I've never measured up. Mm for the kind of mama that I wanted to be yeah, you will for be. my kids yeah, you will be. <laughs> but Without, he's showing me yeah, yeah. like <laughs> what I've given you yes. <laughs> because of that yes. it's actually yeah. better yes, but than those things much better. Yes. So, much better. but yes. I've never believed it yeah, like I wanted to I see <laughs> it's just not been something yeah. I lacked faith it, I did. I, I, it is, it's, you never see it happen. It's hard to really... I didn't see it happening, but that's what faith is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then, when he gave me that word, 
that I tried to write out. <laughs> he convicted me mm. so much through it. And so mm. then when I hear him, you say he doesn't give those things for your own benefit. That I'm like, I don't know. Mm. I don't know what it's for. Mm. I'm like, it, it, I don't it, know, but I know not, it cleansed me. It's not always for our benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on the <laughs> the nature of it. Yeah. So the Lord gifts you come into fair word, right? Just for ourselves. And how about the gifts is a for us, but not always for us. Yeah. So I can see that. Yeah. But my point is more the abuse and misuse. Mm -hmm. Make gifts almost like separate mm -hmm. from the organic we or harmonized will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Gifts begin taking his own course. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what happened to you. That's the beauty of it. Mm. And you are on the right track, I believe. Thank you, Lord. That's the beauty of you. That's the beauty of your gifts. Because I went through that. Mm. No. I was, still is, still what? Was, and still is, were gifted in mm. the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking you know that. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> but I'll. Wouldn't I'll, be here if I didn't. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was a word disorienting and destructive, even mm. in the early days for my walk. Because I don't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. Too much. You know, the beauty is that. God sent people was not moved by those things. They were not they were uh, they, they encouraged by those things. Yeah. They definitely gave a lot of honor freedom for me to be what I need to be. Mm -hmm. But they're not overwhelmed by it. Mm -hmm. They were not oh, impressed by it in mm -hmm. a sense, you know. So yeah. they were mature enough, mm -hmm. gifted enough, statured enough in the Lord. To understand, I was a young believer, mm -hmm. young brother, young disciple to go through phases. And they did not build a relationship based on my gift, mm -hmm. but based on my true person in the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. as in not backing down or intimidated by my gift. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so they were able to speak to me. Sometimes they shut me down. Sometimes they would tell me, yeah, you get it, but maybe what you understand is off the off the track, you know. So you understand it's wrong. So my own get my own vision, my own dreams will tell me my understanding is wrong. That's where the spirit can be. And so and uh, through those kind of encounters I was able oh, oh, yeah, my interpretation is wrong, my perception is wrong because I'm not open up for greater things, you know. I'm only through Things were a pinhole, you know. So I've never been to the garden. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of things not really applicable to you. I'm just saying. For me, it was like constantly being challenged with my ability to understand things. Mm -hmm. My ability to receive things is one thing. My ability to understand things sure. was always a challenge, yeah. you know. So uh -huh. yeah. And I don't, I'm a person not slow to understand, yeah. you know, intellectually. So that's, right. actually, intellectual understanding sometimes becomes such a distraction yeah. and a burden because I'm easy to understand any other subject, but it's not this subject. It's like, what? Feels so humility, you know? So, so, and God knows how to handle us. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he don't want us to have a, I think the human faculty it was such a problem to first furnish and facilitate spiritual things. It's a word good for God in the formative years of our spirit. Or he when he working on it, you know. To make sure that we don't take pride in our spiritual capacities. For sure. Yeah. And of late later there are times I was still struggle with those because there's always a tendency in me to build an identity based on these things. Mm. It's a religion. Everybody mm -hmm. look at you, try to encourage you to be that role, actually. Mm -hmm. Like they want to have a king, right? Mm. They want you to be a pastor. Mm. They want you to be their pastor. Mm. They want you to prophesy. Mm -hmm. They want you to involve in, in their spiritual life or whatever they mm -hmm. think they need. I'm not saying the bad, mm -hmm. but it's tremendously needed, even pure-hearted needed. Mm -hmm. 
But the problem is that even I have it, and even I can easily solve it, which I did many times, and uh, did not produce much fruits. Mm. Oh, this is not my business. Mm -hmm. So there's a caution, mm -hmm. you know, in the back head. Mm -hmm. So the then you this this Christianity, this self modality from old. You have not really learned the order of assumption. It's more than order. It's a discipline, right? Mm -hmm. So discipline is not merely within. Discipline mm -hmm. has to do with relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, who is my ship? Mm -hmm. Who is my member of the house? That's a very challenging for modern Christian, for any nominal Christian, for a young Christian like was. I was not mature. I think I have obligation mm -hmm. to feel everybody's. Yeah. I have obligation to help anybody if I see the need. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. There's a high operation which as a son I need to know only do the father want me to do. Only mm -hmm. see the father. And that was challenging because still based on even spiritual things only pure heart want to serve the Lord, but it's still a self when you the identity mm -hmm. and based on on your four mindset would be to be one called a man of god or a certain mm -hmm. god and god was able to to make that cross through mm -hmm. i was struggling one day i was wrestling with deeply i came to the end and I thought, why are you giving this stuff there what's for and every time i do something it's a roommate and I said, well, because I want you to know, it's never about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that. Mm -hmm. I try to do everything, right? Give everything. And he said, no, I want you to really understand that. What? I thought all the years I understood it. And I, said, mm -hmm. I give up everything, you know, external. <laughs> right. And many times, due to his innovation, I just, okay, God, you don't want me to do that? Forget about it. You know, so mm -hmm. I don't have a hard time with that. I think you're the same. Mm -hmm. God sure up tells us that you don't have to understand everything. Right. You just go, right? Mm -hmm. So you end up the same. Mm -hmm. We don't wrestle with it. Mm -hmm. In, um, but he began to see the deeper mm -hmm. way in me into form of identity. See, mm -hmm. what I think is good, mm -hmm. I want to do good. Mm -hmm. But I have a, a, my own idea of what it means. To do good, mm -hmm. what it mean to good, mm -hmm. and that was a huge because that's when Jesus' word, I mean, yeah, maybe Jesus' word so David and right, mm -hmm. Psalm sixteen said, "There's no good things in me," mm -hmm. and the young rich ruler comes and said, "Hey, good teacher," and he didn't say, "Don't call me teacher," he said, "Why you call me good teacher?" The young man trying to flatter him basically, mm -hmm. and he said, "Why do you think good?" Your idea of good, I don't have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Your idea of good, you see, that was a hook to me. Mm -hmm. Man's idea, our mind idea, what means to good, right? So, yeah. but that good was not informed by God's love, by God's goodness. Mm -hmm. So I found that, oh my God, I recognize that's where everything falling apart for mankind. They try to be their own self and do good, do good, be good, to just their own goodness. Mm -hmm. And they fulfill everything God created and he went as good. You see, they try to take that mm -hmm. to themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily in the name of evil, mm -hmm. but in the way mm -hmm. I can decide this thing for myself, you know? So I can let the world know it's me decide what is good. That part of that I'm word sorry. that he gave me. I'm so sorry, but that's, that's exactly what he showed me through exactly. where he was telling me mm. the words he used with me actually were idolatry. Yes, idolatry. And I was like, <gasps> me? Yeah, that's <laughs> no, it. Oh God. I thought I'd get no. everything no. Like, before you know And he was all, <laughs> that, yeah. that exactly. That exactly. That is what it that's is. That's a cell. And I went, oh, because I thought I'd given everything. Yeah. Right when I think the I've given snap, everything, there's uh, another one. I in the heart, man. I was so dumb. I said, you know what? I said, God, I did everything for you. Why are you so cruel? <laughs> this way, you're so cruel, man. So, so. 
Peter's to him, you know, cruel, you know? See, I never feel like he's cruel. I'm always like, I mean, oh I'm... my gosh, I'm just the worst. How could I be so dumb? No, How for me, it was, a, it was a little bit cruel because yeah. it's like he don't really kind to you at that point. Yeah. I mean, he's no. straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Like he's a knife, you know? <laughs> Here's a cancer. Here's a root of the cancer. Let me dig it out for you. Oh, God, yeah. It's a cancer. I know. Thank you for touching. But here uh, are you. <laughs> so, uh, so when he revealed that, I just wept for a long time. <clears throat> I remember, God, please let me make sure that I will always remember that there's no good thing in me. That's that thank God we can afford the to be about the freedom in that. If there's no good thing in me, everything good is came from where? That's right. I don't need to burden myself <laughs> to pretend to, to do some good. I can't mm -hmm. do some good. Mm -hmm. The second is that if everything good to me is good, should I worry about whether people see it's good or not or myself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> okay, it's fun. <laughs> no, I mean, you dealt with that with me too. <laughs> that's it huge. Is. That's yeah, a huge. Yeah, huge. Yeah, huge. Mm -hmm. The last wastage, wastage of for self, yeah. self value, to taking up. It's humiliating, but it's so liberating. Mm -hmm. so I'm so thankful he bring that to me and the front. You know, it's really a cross. You have to put it, allow God to put on the cross, crucify on the cross. <coughs> so I, all that I said, God, I'm not going to always do good in my future, which I don't think I care. Uh, but I know that you want me to seek your goodness. And you want me to acquire your goodness. And so I have my sins, I don't have my struggles, mm -hmm. but I can acknowledge there is no good thing in me. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, the greed, pride, the word is pride, okay? Mm -hmm. Which when he gave me good things, he said it's good. What do you do with it? I'm a guard, this is my best treasure, guard with my life. I don't want anybody to tell me it's not good. Mm -hmm. That's a difficult one as well. If he says that's good, that's yours. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good news, am I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if God gives something good, he he gonna use it through you or make you be it. Mm -hmm. Would he deny his glory in you? Would he deny his glory through you? No. No. Would he deny glory? He gonna. You know, fulfill and his own glory fulfilled through you and lies through you. No, I will never deny that holy work. It's not my work, but his work. And I will yield to it. Be the willing vessel for it. I don't want to expand too much, but I hope that encourages you a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. Continue. I really enjoyed that conversation now. So. Um. This conversation can be heard by others. <laughs> I'm serious. It's so beneficial. Yeah. You can teach a lot of things. Have a lot of subjects, a lot of beautiful expositions, encounters. But few has to know the will of the true son. Mm -hmm. This is the will of the true son. This is in the secret quarters. Mm -hmm. Chambers. Mm -hmm. It's a thing in the ark. Mm -hmm. No, before the eyes, the in the ark. Mm. Be Jesus. That's when you get that turn off of darkness and the nature again on the side. <coughs> and that's your vision, right? You you and I have the same no vision. There's a turn off. Oh. Dark turn off. Yes. Hopeless no, you know. And suddenly a blink light and it's no gazy. On the other side, in this. Do you remember? This is just another thing he expounded in my mind, and mm. you probably don't remember. But I had a I had a vision about like these birds. 
mm-hmm. that were in a formation and they dive into a rock. Yes, yes. I so he that real well. brought me back to that place yeah. and then expounded in it. Yeah, <laughs> so to, to, to tell me. Yeah. It was because Rachel Just has a similar vision. I'm not sure she shared that with you. I haven't you. had a chance to talk with her yet. Oh, so I can't wait. I told her to ask you that vision. So. Mm. Mm. Go ahead. But, uh, then you get it, operation, everything going on. That's when, you know, she might have a chance to, yeah. to dialogue with you. Yeah, sure. so go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, um, in, the, in the rock, there was a water waterfall fall, fall and mm. a firefall. And I oh, never, yeah. and, and they did this like corkscrew kind of formation that went down into mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And when he was expounding that to me, mm-hmm. the, I hear you. Mm-hmm. the corkscrew mm-hmm. was it went from the bottom up. So. I don't know really else how to explain it, but mm-hmm. the the rock was breathing, <laughs> and with uh-huh. each breath, uh-huh. it the birds would go into the fire, mm-hmm. and then when they exhaled, go you into the water, the water. Huh. and mm-hmm. then go into the fire when mm-hmm. they would inhale, yeah. and then when the rock would exhale, and it mm-hmm. would go wow. in this formation uh-huh. like this, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> all the way up. Uh, and anyway, I it was a whole adventure the Lord took me through after you, that. You want to know that? What do I mean? I think so. Go ahead. But I, I would love to hear you. No, no, no I don't want to eat the <laughs> you don't want to spoil your meal, so go ahead. <laughs> and that's your meal. Right, but I could be wrong. No, Because yeah. <laughs> it is just my... I like a change. I have the idea, actually. What my thoughts. So good. Um, but in this process of, like... Attaining and and being refined in sonship. There's it's a first of all the ever increasing was showing me. It mm-hmm. was like getting higher and higher mm-hmm. ascension into mm-hmm. ascension. That's a good word. Mm-hmm. Um, and the refi the. The fire was refinement, but it was also, I mean, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with words. But it was like a breathing in of what he was showing us, like in taking his bread of life Mm. so that we could pour out his bread of life. And then it's like an in and an out with Mm. each, you know. How many cycles? Oh, I didn't count. Uh, you might want to count it a little <laughs> okay, bit. Okay, all yeah. right. But, okay. You don't want to tell me? <laughs> you just let him tell me? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> fire and water are two wrongs. Hmm. That's why I bet in fire, mainly water. You can miss anyone and become a song. Mm-hmm. I think... But the two realms go through seven cycles. Hmm. I'm not surprised. <laughs> that would have been my guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seven cycles. Yeah. Hmm. It's like go through seven ages or seven epochs. So. Hmm. Do you understand the seven? Oh well, yeah, why not the seven and the covenant, So. Like the All the covenants in Christ is a yes and amen. Mm. Yes. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Amen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Breathe in. Remember from which rock you are hewed. <laughs> yeah. Every seal had to be unsealed. 
I, this sounds mystical, but I, I, I think you understand. I'm you feeling know? mystical yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm needing to put my feet yeah. somewhere. <laughs> no, so it's, I, it's not yes. mystical. When you, when you went through it, you understand. It's not mystical at all. It's all real. Mm -hmm. For example, let's give this some example. The gate to the temple. Time and I call the same structure, please. And then you go to the altar. Now you can before the altar and the gate, am I? And the oh, area. Mm -hmm. And after the altar burning or sacrifice, then the basin, am I? This ocean or sea of what that call? Before is fire or water? What now? Water is behind the fire or after the fire? Well, in the vision, it was after. Yeah, exactly. So, but before you go to the first altar, mm -hmm. burning altar, where is the washing started? Oh. There is no washing before you become a side from the altar. Well, there is washing there. I think there's washing. Yeah, there you go. So, so how many <laughs> water baths? How many water baths is there? Is there two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that sounds crazy, but is it not crazy? Uh -huh. Because each one represents the identity change. Mm -hmm. Before you are sinner, you need to be clean. So you, mm -hmm. that's the process making you die yes. in crisis. Mm -hmm. That baptizing into his uh. Mm -hmm. The Bible said about that in the what? The water? His death. Oh. Christ's death. Okay. The yep. burn offering represents the death to the natural man. Mm -hmm. But you have been born of water, born of a, a spirit that's a new birth. Mm -hmm. So after the old one made it clean as a living, as a, as a holy sacrifice <coughs> unto death. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you need to baptize into life. Right. So there are two. Mm -hmm. Symbolically, for sure, accomplishing one. Let's see. We don't have to go through ritualistic, say the two baptism, whatever, you mm -hmm. know. So, But there are two functions there. Mm -hmm. So after you baptize in the water, you know, you've been dedicated. Mm -hmm. So a newborn baby after eight days, what is it? Daddy, washed, oh. yeah, uh -huh. circumcised, and washed for sure. Mm -hmm. So, but the mother, oh man, actually, we need to go. Oh, no, 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 sorry about that. So, yeah, this I had a meeting mm -hmm. yesterday, postponed today because oh, yesterday was a busy as well. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Wes is always kind. So, yeah. Um, um, where were so after. The newborn baby was rededicated, am I? Mm -hmm. Remember the mother had to go out of the camp, come back, dedicated. I don't child. think I know all of the Okay. The anyway, the traditions. traditions. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it's after seven days, eighth day do that. Mm. So is that making sense here? Mm -hmm. So okay. Mm -hmm. So that symbolizes the the realm of man, the aged man to ramp it up. Mm -hmm. The rededication of the song in God's in God's age of mm -hmm. If you will, the kingdom age. So, mm -hmm. well, hard to explain, but sure. you get my point. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So on the, so therefore you rededicated after you've been washed. Now you're a priest. Only the priest have the the chance to be washed. Mm -hmm. So another priesthood. Get it. The first altar was for man for sin to be mm -hmm. cleansed, come to death, am I? The Zor death. Mm -hmm. But this one was a beginning to minister new life. Mm -hmm. New life. The so sanctification work before this or after this? The what? Sanctification work. Made holy. We during, often think sanctify. Ah, <laughs> is it not during? Uh, sanctification work has different stages. Mm -hmm. My point is oftentimes we think sanctification only one stage is to cleanse you from mm. your sin. Mm. <laughs> Obviously, we have not really taken into account made you holy, right. <laughs> sanctify, made, set apart a holy, right? That's what sanctify means. So, the two, without 
first cleans you from sin for sure you cannot be made holy but made holy is also require process you know so so that's begin to start made holy it's also two covenant time the covenant death as being <laughs> the common life has been <laughs> activated. <laughs> now you go through a process. Now that's why you, then you required for you to born again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know because of second wheel, suppose the 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 the, the gate in my the time the, the whatever the the door to the tabernacle is a first wheel. So suppose it be first wheel. The second one, that will, is right now you're born into another realm mm -hmm. as a born son, spiritual son of God. So basically, you just reclaimed something back to yourself. And that's when God started. So there are another baptism now on fire. What are the lamps then? What is that? Fire, right? So, yeah. so the bread, bread went through fire as well. But you see my point, you know, but it's not for destruction anymore. Yeah. <laughs> what? For life giving. The first one called to consume, right? <laughs> Supposed to be, yeah. yeah. Okay. The second one is the impartation of life. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, what so. Been saying to me that I just yes, quite so therefore, <laughs> therefore, you born of water, the ocean that ring, but you born of earth. The natural man now, in part with the spiritual blessing, you born of the spirit now, mm -hmm. you receive the spiritual impartation. Mm -hmm. That's a different realm, not the earthly realm, mm -hmm. which is after the will in the holy place. Mm -hmm. So represent the angelic realm or spiritual realm mm -hmm. to a certain extent, prepare you to be a son, yeah. to be a force in doubt of the son. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Awesome. That's why the angels are ministering mm -hmm. spirit. They are Born of a fire. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Then you read it. After you have received that service, overcome or born again, right? Mm -hmm. Or crossover. You know, baptism also means crossover. Mm -hmm. A realm. Now you're ready for the songs portion. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> That's why only the high priest. <laughs> but even that, you now here is a mystery now. <laughs> even that is only give the beginning diamond the initiation of this whole thing, right? So well that's why everything has been covered again. Not the even to the outside, and not the even horizon, but the to all realms. Not just the uh, Flat the earth, you know, so flat on the ground, <laughs> horizontal, <laughs> but it's covered everywhere. <laughs> Every direction is covered, like a heart of a thing, you know, things around it is covered. Hidden from angels. <laughs> Hidden from that. <laughs> that is in the ark. Mm. That's a real promise. That was our original inheritance mm -hmm. so after you recover that you ready to not the horizon together in you he ready to mm -hmm. lift you up to rapture you whatever the word <laughs> whatever the word to snatch you up in my eyes so ascend ascend and then you become legitimate sons of god that's another realm mm -hmm. on earth that is in heaven which portion uh, that's interesting. Which portion? You look at that, the seven, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Just think about it. Because on earth there are three. Mm -hmm. Am I? So, yeah. yeah. Angelics, there are another three. Mm -hmm. Then God's realm is one, you know, we're all in one. So, mm -hmm. I'm talking. So. Mm -hmm. Crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah. But helpful. I hope you understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, I, and I know that the Lord will. There are different the segments way? because you're talking the realms. For sure. Mm -hmm. When those are spiritual realms open up, mm -hmm. 
in reality, not doctrine, right. <laughs> not mystical understandings. The realm really opened up. Something happened to our man. Mm -hmm. It comes with the signs wonders. It comes with the encounters, inevitable. You remember you have been praying for the doom being? There you go. You ascend like a shoot it straight forward up, you know, so there you go. Who would imagine? That's the ascension picture. Yeah, definitely. Certain things is hard to put in words. Too many stuff getting wound. Can I read something? Yes, please. Just it's just uh, it's TPT. Okay. And yeah, the place our human language, human thoughts, so far so so short for short. So far short. Yeah. But. <laughs> and it's almost like we don't need that one, right? We, we don't. don't we don't need how to express or go through that faculty, you know? Of human words. Yeah, we, yeah. we know what we know, you know? So yeah. we, I don't need to explain to you. I know what I know. You you will know what I know if you're there. <laughs> so, <I> mean, so, <laughs> sounds crazy. What, so, I, what I'm just trying to make sure uh, yeah. is that my perceptions yeah. aren't... Not crazy. Yeah. Or, oh. or my perceptions aren't trying to interpret oh. what he's showing me I, because that gets a little that's sticky. that's a struggle yeah that's a human struggle mm -hmm. because we always want to find the audience for that right those things are hard to find the audience for that it's not even i don't want an audience i just want yeah. i don't want to be a oh, fellowship yeah, yeah I, fellowship. I think yeah. i just want to know i'm headed in the right direction yeah, that's, and that I'm that's, not... that's definitely i can assure you you're heading in the right direction mm -hmm. yeah Thank you. the things i've been praying for you <laughs> Because that's what he, he inclined to seeking. The Lord mm -hmm. gave visions, gave you encounters, mm -hmm. meant for you to be here. So mm -hmm. there's a reason I call you my little sister. Mm -hmm. I hope that's don't drag to our earthly turn to thinking on those lines anymore. Mm -hmm. Because that's your spirit. Mm -hmm. We got to learn and get acquainted to see each other as one from the Lord. Yes. That's a very hard thing to do. I mean, I do it successfully, maybe it's 50% of the time these mm -hmm. days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you had to handle people only always there. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's difficult to do relations with them mm -hmm. on all those terms. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. It's, we need also to be cautious. Don't blame others <laughs> or as if others don't belong to God or say those kind of things, you know? So, you know, so, so I think that's where meekness really comes in. Mm -hmm. He says, no, say, oh, but he don't demand that you know it right away so you can fellowship with me, be my perfect disciple. He did not. And then, so, he gave those thing to the process of God, to the individual testimony and journey with the Father at the Son. Mm -hmm. He didn't take over that. Mm -hmm. So I think oftentimes our struggle is we want to take over that for ourselves, our own benefit. We don't give time for that to play out in at the farther range of it. And the second that we don't do that is because we think somehow we can know the word. We can play God in it. I mean not that's terrible, wrong. This is just like by showing something, others is gonna get it. Mm. Yeah. It's, so for the idea of apportionment, God's grace, apportionment of faith, we don't really think it's it's apportioned. Mm. Apportioned doesn't mean don't throw out the vessels, but not through the way we think we can do it. You know? mm. So it's a government by the spirit, furnished by the spirit, mm. for city by the spirit. Mm -hmm. But we refuse to what? Let the spirit do his time, do his beating. Mm. We take over that mm. by thinking we have become a better preacher, you know. So, this dialogue look is meaning the preacher, for example, period and tradition, meaning to preach, preach, preach. A lot of writing, a lot of sermons. They, they, they're still in the low realm of operation. You can't tell them, those people, that. Mm -hmm. Because they still navigate people's minds. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. all 
touch some kind of emotion or even spirit. Let's see, it's a spirit. But we're childish, not childish, we're small portion. They're not open the truly for some shit. Not even, not even and the fringe of it. Because we continue feeding this altar called intellectualism. Intellectually think these things can be grasped. That's a mistake, like those teachers. The best spurgeon for them. Wonderful exposition, wonderful mm -hmm. scholar, wonderful preacher. A lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of discipline in the Lord. But I don't think he, I mean, a lot of preaching good sort of sound doctrine, but I don't think he had a lot of relation with the real, real Holy Spirit. The spirit of sonship. Why? The spirit of sonship teach people differently. They don't preach those kind of sermons. Don't they interest you in the, to target your your mind? They're not interested in woke, a sense of response and based on moral condition, you know, or soulish touch. We're much on the Lord to the to to be real to each person do their thing, right? So yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying so. Mm -hmm. You can have a revival, preaching, but you can't raise up songs in that. Mm -hmm. Day in the hour you do things to replace the genuine work of the spirit mm -hmm. in you some in individual songs. It's a mistake. It's actually a dangerous proposition that you can do that. So because it replaces the living conviction, living operation of the spirit with your set of understandings that uh, somehow you can put into sermons, put into books, glean from this and try to apply to yourself. Now when you apply, gather, apply to yourself, which self we're talking about here, a spiritual self or the spirit governed by some moral convictions, religious habits, customs, intellectual processing. So that is a Pharisee problem, right? So you know so in a sense you, you didn't really change the why. Even you change the skin. <laughs> it's all why in the new wine skin you call the New Testament church. It is the same stuff as the Pharisee did. It's I'm not saying Pharisees in a sense to criticism for the hypocrisy. I'm not mm -hmm. I don't think it's a, for sure that's 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 not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the the inner processing of man. Mm -hmm. Would you call a Paul a hypocrisy? A hypocrite? Before he converted? No. Yeah. No, obviously yeah, not. His word genuine that's, practice, that's my point. He, you know yeah. so Nick Demons is a is a hypocrite? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Philip Nathaniel Nathaniel, you know it, so something going on, and Nathaniel just comments, you are the perfect Jew. I mean, come on. How many people can fit that standard, being a perfect Jew? Yeah. Being the eye Jesus. Mm. So, but Nathaniel, I've not seen nothing yet. <laughs> Sometimes we see that, you know. You see this vision, you have a good heart, and you confess me as the Lord. But let me tell you something. You will see the Son of Man, what? Angels ascend and descend upon the Son of Man. What do you think that means? For Jesus himself? Because Nathaniel tried to envision what the Israelite, uh, with, with Israel, Israel, with Jacob, the father. He wanted to be a son of Jacob, but he never wanted to be a true Israel. That's why Jesus is getting either a true Jew or true Israelite, actually. <laughs> that word had potency for Nathaniel. Does have an encounter under the tree? I saw you the fig tree. I saw you see heaven open. So you see angels, they send the send like in the day to Jacob. That's why he instantly committed. Who knows this stuff? You know? Why I'm the whole world here in region? Think about, oh my, I this is not an Israel. I truly am a son of Israel, Jacob. God has opened this for me. And here, <laughs> what good can come that another ring, man? Philip, you lost your mind? Disturb my meditation time? My divine encounter? <laughs> and not all Israelites had that kind of encounter, right? So, who 
can see what Jacob saw. Come on. And he feels so privileged. He's alive for sure. He's a few able to have that privilege to see these things. And here it comes. And then he said, hey, come on, the Messiah coming. You know, he's, he's from Nazareth. You killing me? I thought I had this encounter. <laughs> Philip, you must have lost your mind. <laughs> so he said, I'm pretty good at Jew, man. I must have done something right. God showed this to me. He didn't show that to anybody. I don't think Philip got it. Okay, however, I'm a good friend. I'm going to check it out anyway. So after the obligation for friendship, he went. And Jesus, the first thing he said, Hey, here comes the true son of Israel. What? What do you know about me? Oh, you know me. <laughs> we take those words lack of context around his son. If you're Nathaniel, you're pretty much going to have the similar response. Oh, in the world, you know me. <laughs> He's not arrogant. He's just saying, I just have this in my encounter, become a son of Israel, right? So, I saw what my father Jacob saw. And God just did that miracle thing to me. And I hear it, what? And you said, I'm a true Israel, true son of Jacob. <laughs> what do you know about me? <laughs> and then he said, oh, I saw you in the figure tree. And you saw this thing. <gasps> you. You must be the Messiah. <laughs> he <laughs> fought on worship there, right? So, and everybody in his circle understand the contest. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it didn't make much highlight. In the Jewish mind, in Jesus' little circle there, everybody understand what happened in Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. But almost nobody today understand what has really happened there. Mm -hmm. We think Nathaniel is a natural man trying to be a little biased against Jesus. No, he was just a decent man, you know, so try to respond in a decent way, which is Jesus liked him very much because of it. Then he said, oh, you did not see much here. <laughs> what you saw the vision of the past, we have it here. Are you going to be the one? <laughs> I don't see nothing yet. <laughs> That's the angel of the portion. Angels, right? Mm -hmm. send, send. You can have the sound portion. I, they, they have no clue who mm -hmm. Because the contract is still fairer than the old connotation. The water they are. My point is Paul, Nathaniel, Philip, Peter, everywhere around this, do they have a clue? But this old God, and they're going to become living stone to build it as a song. Songs, you see? Songs. Was the songs of Jacob or Israel, the old covenant, or the new covenant? You know? Songs of God. They have no clue, man. And here, it's real. Yeah, my point is that that mindset, pure and needful, it is. But it's not only sound portion. But you must be born uh, again. You cannot tell me that the one encounter Nathaniel on the other hand is not spiritual. Right. But it's definitely different realm. Get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did Peter go into that realm? Until later. Yeah. Yeah, until later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peter had this encounter in 15 chapter, I think, in mm -hmm. When they all come back, and he said, like, What do you hear the people say who I am? Is it, he just confirmed them, I think, if I remember right, that my his disciples. They sent them out to God to see what the people think is who he is. Mm -hmm. And he came back and said, like, you are Jeremiah and Elijah, some say you are Elijah. So then he said, what do you think who I am? That's what's awkward. 
they think he's a messiah, but they don't know sure, right? <laughs> now remember, that's after Matthew 13, okay? Matthew 11. So, it's so much later. So they don't know how to handle this teacher, you know? <laughs> he's is non-conventional. Challenge everything they think is proper. They're constantly in a landslide almost all the time. The ground just give up all the time. On Finally, oh, I think this, we must go something. Suddenly he just reveals <laughs> trying to think, uh, shake them up. Mm-hmm. So in this occasion, they don't dare to share. And Peter is always, you know, a little bit, <laughs> what a word, impetuous, whatever the word. And Peter said, oh, I don't think that's impetuous. It must have, Peter has been pounced, carried that question all through those days, you know? You know, ah, oh, wow. And Jesus was obviously purposefully trying to see who going to be the leadership. Mm. And there's a prayer coercion, operation of the son with the father, trying to see who going to land it in this group of people. Mm. He's going to activate it in some kind of a kind of, kind of settlement, who, you know, so. Mm-hmm. He did not choose Peter in a way. He, we think he is. Mm. So that's why he named Peter Petra. Mm. I'm not sorry, uh, named Peter Peter. Mm. His, his name is Simon, right? Son of Jonah. So mm. he, he was waiting for that name to become somebody, I believe. Mm. It's not a name this can you give to people. Mm-hmm. See my point? Yeah, yeah so. And Peter, uh, son of Jonah, showed up and said, You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. What God? The living God. And Jesus was overjoyed because, oh, Father, here's a guy. <laughs> so, I mean, we don't read scripture very well. Mm-hmm. You know? Is that making sense to you? Mm-hmm. You know, so here's one. This is why he chose. Therefore, he changed his name. Just like he did, God did to Israel. Mm-hmm. Jacob, am I right? Yeah. To Israel. So that's signifying. You know, they all know Philip, Nathaniel so well. Jesus, Jesus doesn't change anybody's name. So why he ch- changed that name? Mm-hmm. Everybody understand. Because it reminds them Israel's story. Mm-hmm. Moses is the Messiah, the Son of the Son Living God. He changed his name. Mm-hmm. Said you're the guy I can like, what? build my church. Mm-hmm. With, with you first. Mm-hmm. So that's a, literally a recollection of that covenant with the forefathers. Jacob is talking about the building of the horse. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Horse, next thing, right? Mm-hmm. A horse in ocean days is a father's. Mm-hmm. Builder the horse is a father's son. Mm-hmm. You know, that's Hebrew the book continued carried in three chapters. Mm-hmm. Moses was a servant of this horse. Mm-hmm. God is a builder of the horse, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so, horse, stone built into a horse mm-hmm. is a picture of a a culture is a common lineage passed on. That's what the fatherhood is about. That's like in Hebrew word by themselves. It's not just we read, we translate English, we separate the connotation. So it's all in English, in Hebrew word by nature, this word implied it. Father, builder, sons, horse, you know, so. Is that make sense to you? That's all their connotations. Yeah. When they talk about those things, they have this in mind. Right. Yeah. So, um, the Isaiah said, from, you know, from this query I hew my son, the Abraham, I mean, Abraham chosen is a query. You see my point? Yeah. Building a temple. That's, that's every day in their mind, they think yeah. the whole can be this right. part, right? Mm-hmm. So, so when he said these things, he's like, it's a totally click on their yeah, mind. Sure. It's not that we have to study, it's figure out those yeah, things. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's in their robbery, you know, so that's in their DNA, right? So spiritual search, you know, so he just he said, here we go, we fulfilled this one. Yeah. <laughs> and you're the guy. Yeah. What we lose on earth, we'll be losing in heaven. I'm so sorry. No, 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 you go for it, yeah.
crazy. As it is crazy. What? Because moments ago is two seven to eleven. Look at the clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one 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 one. One clock, one eleven minutes, eleven mi eleven millisecond, <laughs> eleven second, eleven milliseconds. That's crazy. And two 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 one. I wanted to like, if it's okay. Yes. It's um. I do have only about 10 minutes. I know, minutes so I've been so trying to go super yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. But um, just part of um, when the Lord was like speaking to me and showing me things, which I, in the Bible. Mm. And so I just wanted to share because it's so yeah. beautiful to me. Oh, yeah, please. But also, yeah. nothing the way I've ever looked at it. Oh, and so wow. I don't want to be off. No, no, no. Let's but look I don't. At it. Let's look There's, at it. He's showing me something, and I can't put all the pieces together, and I so see. I was hoping. I want to put that away so I can. Sure. See it beside you, maybe look. Sure. At it. Oh, don't we'll have to address. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm. It's. I'm sure very basic things. No, I want you to feel free. By the way, you don't have to do this when we sit down down together. You can always, anytime, share the notes, do the recording. Sure. Or notes just send my way. So. Sure. Well, I can so, do that. I can yeah. do it later if you'd rather. Oh, no, 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 we're good. So I, I just want to make sure that you have a a, a free communication and sh to share those things with me. So, yeah, go ahead. What do you have there? Well, uh, it reminded me because we were in Matthew, oh. which is where he brought me. Oh, yeah. Um, and don't let me wear off and teach you the Bible stuff in the future. You have no, 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 more no. Important thing to share, so, I didn't yeah. think it was more important. It's just, <laughs> I, I, I seriously have a list of like a hundred things I can uh -huh. buddy throw with you about. I see. Uh, and so I have open hands about it. Okay. <laughs> for so, sure. Good, good. Um, but so. Nice you. Yep. And, and in a lot of this, I know, well, I felt like it was personal for me, but the way that it opened up then became not just it's about not me. Personal. Yeah. So, yeah, but I, I've never, um, personally attached myself to this story at all. Okay. Um, mm. but it's the bleeding woman and Jarius. Oh, do you know I, what I'm talking about? I, I heard that story. I just don't know where it is. Uh, so we're, I'm in Matthew nine. Okay. Um, but I read it in all like Matthew, Mark. Oh yeah. Okay. And Okay. Oh I'm yeah. To find. That is twenty, Matthew nine twenty. Oh. Um, so you go ahead. It's hard for me to like describe how I got here, but That's okay. There's been a lot of things and especially in the spirit mm. when I'm before the Lord oh. and I literally feel like I am pushing through so much stuff mm. literally just to grab mm. a string mm. and it's like if I have that mm. it's enough mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's all I need mm -hmm. and then he brought me here and I've never slowed down mm. enough to read it mm. and there's a progression right I didn't understand um I'll take you here first. So he says, I'm just going to read this one part. Yeah. A woman who had a hemorrhage, which there's, there's so many things. And I don't know why I never came here, but that are pertaining. Like I did, I hemorrhaged out two years ago so much that I couldn't stop bleeding and I had to get a hysterectomy to oh. stop bleeding, but it oh. would not stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so oh. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. that actually happened to me. Yeah, yeah. And um, and he opened up in a way, this is where I'm wanting leading. Yeah. But, but I really started to think of the church today yeah. is him urging out. Oh yeah, definitely. And then I words see. you and Tim spoke over. Yeah. I mean, like this had already been shown to me, but yesterday, and our, at our meetings and stuff, just talking about the church and like, 
Anyway. No, 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 I don't recall yesterday, it's a Wednesday. Um, it was when Tim was praying at uh, our sevens meeting. How is that right? <laughs> but he just said that word and I was like, oh, yep. Wow. What word? Anyway. Um, and I think of, like, it's a flowing issue. Oh. There's a, and, and the things that are actually in us. Oh, yeah. That are meant to stay in us. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They, they're hemorrhaging. Oh, to give up our life, you see, life is in the blood, I guess. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. And so I was like, okay, yeah. help me understand what you're wanting me to see. Yeah. The next part hit super close to my heart, and mm. this is only found in Mark. Mm. But it says... Mark where? Uh, Mark 5, mm. 21. It okay. starts in 21, okay. but um, it says oh, yeah. the woman had a hemorrhage for 12 years, and I thought 12, interesting. Mm. And something, hmm. obviously, I think that 12 represents is like a perfect government order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mentioned twice in this story, because mm. Jairus' daughter is also 12. Oh. And so he kind of opened up this like timeline for me. Mm of Jarius hmm. being I, very significant oh. in his heart posture before the Lord mm. and the way he came to the Lord mm. for a dead mm. girl, mm. which is God's peace. Mm. Well, I have a, it might be a vision I had, man. a dead young lady. He's a young, I uh, saw so actually a young guy. Mm. We're supposed to be the fiance, the sort of getting married. Mm. And she died. It's like the whole thing in old days. Mm. This is the day after the And she, but she came to the inner chamber where she died, mm. laying in the rest. Mm -hmm. And she used a knife, pierced her heart, began letting out the blood from her heart. Mm. So the blood gash out of her into the mouth of the young lady. That's when the dream ended. Mm. And God asked me, would you be that young man for me? Mm. That was a very uh, interesting correlation, you know. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord, we, yes. We, we want to do our best, Lord. Yes. Thank you for even consider us being worthy of these things. Thank you. Who is worthy of these things? Oh, forgive our sins, our yes. own defilements, and our own defilement. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, you want us to be pure, holy, yes. not for our own glory, yes. <clears throat> but uh, for your holiness, for your goodness, for your purity, for yes. your love. Yes. A salvation or redemption to be revealed. And you told me today is going to be a meaningful day. Thank you. 118. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Message 1117. I feel like I saw 1118 this morning. You're so good. And the Lord told me today my time is here. Something happened to you again, but even physically, I don't understand it. Or I just want to mention those things, not uh, to speculate, but you give those things to us, Lord. Thank you. Most of the time, it seems to carry evidence that's from you. Thank you. And uh, I just want to bring those things forward, Lord, mm -hmm. not to test you, mm -hmm. but rather test myself. Yes. Let your word and your option test me. Yes. And uh, we know those things. We don't care with doubt or presumption. We just humbly present before you, Lord, and uh, ask you to bring clarity and uh, confirmation. Because they can be super encouraging, Lord, mm -hmm. super important in, in our situation. Lord, I pray for healing. Yes be happening to my sister. You said you're going to heal her, Lord, yes. miraculously. Jesus. I believe that. 
I insist on that belief unless you tell me stupid is just hush and give it up or I will recall and pray at that certainty you give me my heart so far to pray for my life thank you Jesus this is your daughter this is your your son this is my sister Lord I I pray for for goodness Lord to be pure in her in Jesus in Jesus I think <laughs> we're prophetic. I think so. Yeah, I'm not thinking you're stretching there. Eh? There's a lot more. I know I'll probably have to go good, into it later. Good but, word. Yeah. Um, so the part that I've never even read before. I don't think I've read this story in Mark, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And if I have, I forgot. But So there was the 12 years. So I'm thinking that perfect governmental order. Mm-hmm. In that tour, which is mentioned several times here. And then it says, and again, personal, but not for his church. I gotcha. She had endured much at the hands of many physicians mm. and had spent all that she had no. and was not helped at all, mm. but rather had grown worse. Mm. Wow. And after hearing about Jesus, mm. she came up behind him and mm. touched his car. Mm. His power. Mm. This is not casual action. The Lord Jesus. actually revealed this, said, you just this bottle on the counter to annoy you just at the Jesus. right time. So, there we go. Thank you, Jesus. Take off your cap, little bit. I'm on a seat. Oh, shit, I got it. You told me to do that, you know, when you. I'm praying for Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I will not go to session with that until you give me the chance. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed now, Lord. You set free every curse, yes, Father. every negativity, yes. any shadow, doubts, even darker thoughts, Lord, will break away the power of darkness on yes, this Father. life, Lord. Yes. Let your Jesus. righteous light, light of love, yes. light of understanding, yes. light of hope and joy <laughs> yes, come, come in yes. Jesus Lord uh, you already flooded her life Lord I pray this next thing will be so joyful Lord yes. because I see the floods not distracted thank you but right, like, it's like a dew Lord in a wasty land dry land Lord you can revive the land Lord. Yes, Lord. thank you the land will never have dryness and death in it anymore. that's right Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So revive this land. Make it a beautiful garden for you, Lord. Father, Siti Nama, let the bird, the bird nest there, bees yes. have their nest there, Lord. Yes. Let a butterfly get it there, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know I use the simple things, only beautiful things, but they're meaningful this moment, Lord. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Or oh, let the spice of you, let the fragrance of you, yes, Lord. let the <laughs> oil of you mm-hmm. come, Lord. Thank yes, you, Lord. Jesus. Anaman, <laughs> whatever is a prophetic understanding, <laughs> for the hope yeah. that is secure and inspiring my sister, mm-hmm. let them come to settlement clarity. And even fulfillment, Lord. I release the grace of 
for God, for yeah. this fulfillment, in see whether Jesus. application to personal health, personal inspiration that we put there, Lord. You give the seed yes. by your spirit. You have led her life to be from foundation of the world to be this testimony. Thank you. So let be, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let her rejoice. If it has to do with the people, or let those find the confirmation mm. and also application. Yes. Above all, Lord, let it be fulfilled in you. Amen. Agree with Amen. you. Yes. Thank you to align us in this way. Yes. And fulfill us in this way, Lord. Yes, Lord. You mean no one. Sure, Only few sure. you know, understand. Yes, That's a fine, Lord. It's done in your timeline. It's done in your heart. It's done in your in your judgment or assessment. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes uh, let our words be few <laughs> because you have feel everything. Thank you. And reveal everything. Thank you. We don't have to use our humanity as the instrument of the West. You done it. And we are beings internal, being the spiritual. Therefore we agree with your spirit. And the spirit aligns us with your work and flow mm-hmm. and it's done. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Jesus. May that never be a presumptuous way of thinking. Yes. Other but informed, educated understanding yes. and agreement with your spirit in Jesus name in Jesus name Emily they have a few points go ahead mm-hmm. I, I, I'm sorry if you need to go no no uh, I think we're almost ready however so yeah. yeah I mean I, I can go the fast version okay but fast, word. fast version is her heart position mm-hmm. where the church needs to be mm where I was always just so off, mm. thinking that that Jesus would come to me, <laughs> he'd come to me. Mm. Mm. And there's something that I don't quite understand about mm. her heart position, where the yeah. church needs to be. You need to seek it. Yeah. But mm. you go on with the story. They're mm. on their way, Jarius, Jesus, mm. he grabbed <laughs> Jesus and then like mm. come heal my daughter yeah, yeah, yeah. and he stops on the way mm. and she reaches out to him mm-hmm. and her power goes out the power goes into her yes but uh, the difference I think what I'm trying to show is towards the end mm. um I think what the Lord was revealing to me because the girl was also 12 years old mm. that came up again mm. and Mm. I think her life might be like God's Talitha chosen Cone. people. Yeah. Mm. Talitha meant, I looked it up because I wanted to know what it meant. Uh. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but okay. uh, it's what helped me understand, actually, or confirm would be a better way. Uh-huh. Um, but, the, you know, where Christianity gets it wrong is we think that we are the ones who save God's chosen people, mm. like the girl. Mm. And really, it comes from Jesus is the one who goes there. Mm. 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 Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. No, I'm trying to the just woman, mm. the woman had to reach out. Yeah his chosen people, the girl was Jesus a dead, a good, yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he had to do that work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spiritual operation yeah. that I didn't understand. Mm. Why is death in a woman, if you will? The other is a father's heart. Say so a father's heart. Yeah, Jerry, okay. Jerry, the father. Mm-hmm. So father's heart is pleading for his revenue. Mm-hmm. Mm. They send this on the touch, yes. in a sense. Yes. The, one, the other one was allow me suffering with the wrong treatment. Mm. 
in the hand, I think representing the, the people being abused by the church, mm. false, false mm. leadership, whatever, false traditions. Mm. A man turned in the hand of clean on the Lord mm. Mm. while he's uh, mm-hmm. passing by. And, then, so, mm-hmm. and then it was just encouraging me to me too. This is the last thing I'll say. Mm. But um, like I'm kind of like, why was that stuck? stuck in the middle of that story it doesn't quite seem to make sense and so the, I was the like, woman actually was on suppose on clean right yeah the kind of illness it deemed right. unclean so mm-hmm. as a curse right so mm-hmm. that's you can look at uh, revelation 12 you will okay. find a lot of parallel with her. okay but there was a woman and her offspring her little one mm-hmm. interesting did you see what her little one. Mm-hmm. Read Matthew 12. Okay. Not in Matthew 11. Okay. You know, talking about the woman and her little one. Hmm. Why is that important? Uh, I think it's uh, maybe Isaiah 56. There's a picture called the Desolate Woman, mm-hmm. Galatians 4. It's a wonderful picture to read. The Desolate Woman is a prophetic picture required deliverance and restoration. But once it's restored, however, she becomes the bride. Mm-hmm. So. Well, and it showed me, yeah. like I couldn't quite understand it, but yeah. after, like you go further, yeah. and at the end of after Peter walks on the water, uh-huh. it talks about how people were wanting to grab the garment. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, was that her testimony? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> the garment is like a tassel. Right. Tassel is actually glory. Oh. So when you see a halo, mm-hmm. a moon, and the sun has a halo, mm-hmm. so it's a glory. So mm-hmm. the, that picture, as is a fulfillment, something very interesting, mighty interesting to you, is a Malachi. Look at the Malachi. Remember uh, Ruth coming yeah. from Boaz? Yeah. So <clears throat> that's King's my redeemer. Right. Yeah. So basically redeem the bloodline. Hit you again. Is that making sense here? So the healing is not merely right. physical healing, it's a, it's a bloodline healing. Mm-hmm. So it's a full restoration of the inheritance that was lost. Mm-hmm. But in four chapters of the day of the Lord mm-hmm. in two said. Malachi 4, 2 said, But for you who learn my name, the song of righteousness will rise with a full restoration mm-hmm. in his wings. The wings is a tassel. Mm-hmm. In his tassel. In the tassel is garment, basically. Mm-hmm. The song of righteousness. So that means the song is a shining force with, with glory, you know? So, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. The dawning of a new day. Yes, yes, Lord. I want you to wrap up with a prayer, you know, you know your worries. So. Lord, my heart is overflowed with thankfulness. I would like this one to be shared. I don't think okay. it's, yeah, it's like it will encourage a lot of people. So. Okay. And I thank you that when my words are so lacking, Lord, that you look beyond. (laughs) And you see the heart. You are so good. And your, your plans of redemption for your people. shattered this false image that has been built up in my own mind of your love and I'm so sorry (laughs) on behalf of (laughs) 
the people who are supposed to represent your name. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Lord, for lifting up my eyes and allowing me to see your love, Lord. Knowing you, knowing your heart, being called your own, it's the greatest privilege. Thank you for leading us every step of the way, despite our weaknesses. <laughs> Thank you for for brooding over your people mm. <laughs> and lifting up those with humble heart, mm. Lord, who want <laughs> who want so much. And restore. What has just been so damaged? <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for switching in me. Mm what it means to obey mm -hmm. and be refined. Thank you for switching that to a joyous place. Mm -hmm. And it's something I want to run to mm -hmm. and be immersed in. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Lord, that in that heart posture, mm -hmm. you were going to overflow to your people. And I don't have to have it figured out. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord, I lift up my brother Emmanuel to you. And true honor and gratefulness for his life. As an instrument. A true called servant. Thank you, sister. What a wonderful time. I I'm super encouraged <laughs> and joyful. <laughs> I'm impressed by God's work 